Haha, all right. So now we got one of these problems that gets students so confused because we're so used to teaching it one way and also learning it one way, uh, they're stored properly. We say, oh, A times B plus C. Okay, A, B plus A, C. And students understand it, and they get their practice, and they're like, okay, I got it. But a lot of times we forget that we can also write the distributive property like this, where it's still going to apply. I mean, it doesn't, remember, by using your commutative property, it doesn't matter if I write the A times there, then I just rewrite it like this you're still going to get the, still the exact same answer. The main important thing, remember, think of distributive property as we're distributing. So we need to distribute this A to all of these terms. So here, and just remember, you know, what is, think about you have your number outside, and since there's no operation, we know that there's going to be a multiplication, right? If it was addition, we'd see a plus sign. Subtraction, we'd see a minus sign. Um, division, we'd see a division sign or as a fraction. So here we represent it as multiplication, and that just means that I need to multiply this times both of them. So I can write this as 1 times 9 plus 3c times 9. However, we always like to write our numbers in front of our variables. So 1 times 9, we can rewrite as 9. And then 3c times 9, I can rewrite this as 3 times 9 times c. And 3 times 9 is going to be 27. So therefore, that's going to be your final answer. So it doesn't matter where your number lies um, when applying the distributive property. You just need to make sure that you distribute it by using multiplication to all of the terms inside of there.